We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another. Chris Sale will be on the mound for game four. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in his last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance. The the and side. all of his pitches Aye. were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. Okay. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Adam Eaton digging in next. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Here's the first pitch to him. Jose Abreu stands in as he looks at a called strike. Wouldn't mind a pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Order go the White Sox. White Sox nothing. Red Sox coming up. Major League Baseball is on the show. Dallas Keuchel, a left-hander out of Oklahoma, will be on the mound. And please, Zach, what's the word on it? Yeah. Hey, Matt, it's not easy to punch anything together against this guy. In his last three starts, he has a whip of under 1.10. So we may see some hit and run. We may see some bunting. And we may see some running. Because if you want to lay around and try to get hits off this guy, that's not the right thing to do. One of the top pitchers in the game right now. Now here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Well the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker change up guy. If he's going to succeed against this lineup. He's got to keep the ball down. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. At the plate, Johnny Damon. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. Jimenez is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first down. Batting third, the first baseman, David Ortiz. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. He'll be trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished with a four for five line at the plate. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Here's J.D. Martinez. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. First offering on its way. High and deep down the left field line. and one delivery and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one now the one and one pitch line towards center field Robert will get there and he puts it away to retire the Second inning set to go, and standing in the outfielder, Eloy Jimenez, and he fouls this one off. So far this season, Jimenez is working with a slugging percentage over 550, so there's no denying he's one of the premier power bats in the league. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. 
That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Johan Moncada is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there, and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. No score here as we play inning number two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Verdugo waits on it. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go. Ready now is Rafael Devers. He's got hits in each of the last five ball games. First pitch on its way. Line hard to center field. Robert is there and he has it for the first out. Alex Verdugo digging in now. An absolute hitting machine right now. He's already added nine base hits to his season total in this series alone. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. As a look, now the pitch. There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. He's got a base hit. The relay, but he is in there. In now, Christian Vasquez drilled right back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, this one's a long way from being over, d -roll, but that big base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And a pitch out. One, nothing one. doing, though, and that's ball one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Robert is there, two gone. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Mookie Betts, one for one with a single so far. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the. The next batter will be Luis Robert. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Behind 0 2 now. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. First pitch on its way. Leori Garcia stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick Eight. inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, oh, probably got to pull the trigger on. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. If this doesn't boost your confidence on the mound, I'm not sure what does. That six pitches and two strikeouts in the inning. And that was a really nice fastball for the punch out on that one. Fouled away. He's one pitch away from striking out the side. But even more than that, to throw a don't. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas. And that ends the inning. So now here is Johnny Damon. He flew out in his last A.B. I'm interested to see how focused their A.B.s will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. 
There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And it's off the green monster. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row. As a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. And a good throw gets him one gun. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the stretch. Turned on down the line. And he's safe. And there are two away now. Next to hit, Rafael Devers. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three nothing cushion. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. That is what every manager is looking for out of the middle of his lineup. When you get your three, four, and five hitters producing this early in the season, it can be contagious and everyone in the lineup. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And the next to bat will be Tim Anderson. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last Great. inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he sets him down swinging. Tim Anderson becomes the first out of the inning. Adam Eaton will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Adam Eaton sent packing for the second out of the inning. Out in front of it, strike one. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Fouled off. 0-2 delivery. Down the third baseline. Devers has it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail in this one 3-0. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Bogarts. Oh, he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. Jimenez is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now got it. Catcher. Digging in next, Christian Vasquez. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. The pitch. There's a line drive base hit to left field. That base hit was screaming off the bat and our show track technology more than now confirms it 100. Base. 11 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. So now to the plate, Kike Hernandez. Weak grounder down the line at third. And with his speed, forget it. It's an infield single. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a.
hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six game hitting streak so far. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Now that the designated hitter. Johnny. Next will be the designated hitter, Johnny Damon. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. A ball that's carrying. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Standing in now, David Ortiz, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Oh, Elo Jimenez is retired to kick off the inning. And now this is foul tipped at the plate, and that appeared to catch a lot of the home plate umpire in the process. Hope he's all right down there. Yep. It looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. Popped him up. Vasquez waits on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Okay. Next, here is Yosmani Grandal. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And he fouls this one off. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. No left fielder. Smoke toward third. Moncada fields it cleanly. And there's one down now. now Stepping in once again is Rafael Devers. He doubled his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. Eaton is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is... Now here's the first offering. Slow little grounder left side. A bare hand play by Bogarts. Oh, but he beats it out. Nearly kept the perfect game alive. But that one in. And now it looks like they want some time to review that one here, so they'll check with their replay guys. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed. And I'll tell you what, it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. And there's out number two. Now that Stratting forward now yeah. is the DH. Adam Engel looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 
You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Didn't quite catch the zone there, yeah. ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The White Sox are still looking to break into the hit column here. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through. Cody Hoyer enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now with the plate is Xander Bogarts. He'll lead it off for the Red Sox here in their half of the sixth. High and deep to right. Eaton going back at the track. He can't get there in time and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Now to bat, Christian Vasquez. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. Anderson brings it in. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So the next to bat will be Kike Hernandez. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. High in the air down the right field line. Oh, and one count and the pitch fouled away. High and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Hit on the ground out to short. Anderson picks it up. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Next up is Johnny Damon, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has a seat. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Throw won't get him. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And it's fouled away. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Betts on third. Damon at second with two gone. And Great. he got him. Minimizing the damage at just a run. Here's the first offering. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Verdugo backing up on it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. That was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Showtrack. Seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over 100 feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Adam Eaton is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Right by him here. And he's set up for another strike out here. The count to 0 and 2. The seventh inning is one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Adam Eaton goes down for out number two in the top half. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pound in the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. him up. Ortiz has room in foul territory and that retires the side. Kevin Marshall gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seven. So stepping in is J.D. Martinez. Fourth trip to the plate for him and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, you don't want to be selfish, Matty. You never want to be that in a team sport, but right here, he's well aware of his hit streak on the line, and he's going to get selfish and grind this A.B. out. 
One man is out of the Red Sox seventh, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be oh, circled on that lineup part because he's on He'll fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A one pitch on its way. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Pitch is popped up. Abreu is there for it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Xander Bogarts now. So far, two for three in this one. First pitch on its way. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. For most people, being down on one would seem like a lot. But this guy's. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter. And every power oh, hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno. Number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning. Kurt. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Elo Jimenez stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Now the pitch. No runs, no hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. Popped him up. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Yosmani Grandal is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's deal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire. Now to the plate. Here is Kike Hernandez. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. Hit on the ground out to short. Anderson scoops it up. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution. Nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher's still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dilo, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher. And there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love, and as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Number 39. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. A one pitch on its way. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Robert is there. Let's see if they try it. And they decide not to push things here with one away as he'll hold on at third base. So now to the plate, David Ortiz, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. 0 and 1 the count. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. 
And he is in there. Up next, J.D. Martinez. He bounced out last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Here's Jimenez going back on it. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Rafael Devers the next to bat. Here's Jimenez going back on it. And he makes a nice catch on the track. The batter will be Luis Robert, starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Sent on the ground out to second. Right to him. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next for Chicago, Leori Garcia. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. The 0 1. Fouled off. Now the 0 2 pitch. Strike three. So now he's one out away from perfection. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Adam Engel is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Now this crowd of 36,000-plus come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains or pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful.